All right. You know, there's one thing that I really don't get, and it's just like, um, you know, the gender swapping of certain characters. <clears throat> Not to say, like, you know, a gender swap or a race swap or whatever couldn't be a compelling thing, but most of the time they just do it to pander to a certain crowd or demographic that they otherwise would already have if they weren't trying to make it seem like this race or gender swap is needed. Or hell, sometimes they don't even get the character right. I'm looking at you, live-action Cowboy Bebop. Because, holy shit, there were some things done right and some things done terribly, terribly wrong. Like, let's look at um, Grell. Grell, one of the most compelling characters in that entire freaking story imprisoned and being forced to take a military drug which deforms his body turning it into a, a female's body despite being a man that entire thing completely thrown out completely thrown out because for some reason <laughs> for some reason it's just like oh this needs to be a non-binary character even though she doesn't exist it's just the whole identifying crap that the left likes to push. And no, I'm not really going to get too political with my channel, so don't expect any of that. But um, it's more so the fact that they did no justice by his character like they did in the anime. Um, I hate the race swap of Jet Black just because his name is Black. Because... Oh, since this character's name is Black, he has to be Black. That's just racist thinking in and of itself. I'm sorry. Then we have Faye Valentine, who was fucking butchered. We have Spike Spiegel, who was fucking butchered. Um, and then Vicious was fucking spayed and neutered. And I mean that in the worst way possible. Spayed and neutered was Vicious. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, the whole point of Cowboy Bebop was the fact that we get to see these characters grow. We get to see them, you know, do whatever it took to reach their end goal. But now it's just like, oh, let's just make these characters act completely out of character, and then make it seem like, you know, anyone who doesn't agree is just racist or sexist or whatever kind of bullshit they want to put on people, or whatever. It's like, here's the thing. Race swaps, gender swaps can be good. Hell, Nick Fury is the most iconic race swap and the most accepted race swap because it's fucking Samuel Jackson. It's like, we can't even see Nick Fury being white anymore because of how good the race swap is for Nick Fury. If only all race swaps were like that. But they're not. And the reason why they're not is because they want to pander instead of actually make a character seem like they're human. That's why I don't like the strong female trope. That's why I don't like race swaps. I don't like gender swaps. I don't like none of that shit because it does nothing for the story or the character in general. All you're doing is trying to pander to a certain crowd in order to freaking get them to watch a movie that is otherwise awful. Like, hell, they couldn't even get freaking Captain Marvel's fucking story right, because in the comics, Captain Marvel was a guy first. Died protecting Carol Danvers, gave her his powers, and then boom, she's the new Captain Marvel. But no, we gotta, you know, make her a female boss character, because apparently females showing any kind of emotion is now considered a weakness. You know, it's the same kind of thing that they... That they blame men for. Single time, but you know, potato, potato. <sighs> it's just like create humans, not mouthpieces. I will do another video on that in another time. But aside from that, race swaps and gender swaps do absolutely nothing for the character in general, especially if you're not writing them to be a human, you're writing them to be a mouthpiece. That's all. I know I'm wearing a do-rag, shut up, and thank you for watching.